Hey guys, welcome to Animated TV Reviews, and today I am talking about Rocco's Modern Life. History time! Back in 1991, Nickelodeon made Nicktoons. And yes, it's still going on, I know, but they don't call it Nicktoons outside the title. Yes, yes, this was made for a creator-driven animation. And one of those shows was Rocco's Modern Life, created by the same person who moved on to Spongebob, and Elyon worked at Camp Laszlo. This was a little. This was a big success, earning a bunch of prime time Emmys during its run. So on to what? What do I think about Rocco's Modern Life? Before we give out the rating, let, let's go through the four the four categories: animation, story, characters, and humor. We 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 can mark humor a plus for this one because the humor is just fantastic and just outrageous. And they can get away with a lot in, in this kid's show. No, seriously, this in Rocco's Modern Life is one of the few cartoons that can get away with so much in so little time. This led to one of the hu episodes getting banned for its humor, called Leapfrogs. It was, it was about Mrs. Big Head cheating on, on Mr. Big Head and trying, to, and trying to get with Rocco. Yeah, the episode got into some controversy, but, but luckily Nickelodeon knew this, and the day after it aired, they they they, they quickly ended the episode. And, and well, I wanted the funniest part about it. It's the second episode. Animation will never learn. This leads to the characters. I really enjoy Rocco. I really enjoy the big cats. I really enjoy Heifer. I really enjoy it. You know, every character is really enjoyable. I also enjoy Spunky and, and many other pet characters. This is one of those rare cartoons where, where almost all the characters are really enjoyable. Why did I say almost? The one shots are pretty forgettable, but but they, they, but they just appear in one episode, so what do you expect? So, yeah, that's really so far all I know about the characters thus far. And that's going to get to the animation and the story, which is where things start getting uh, really enjoyable. The animation is a more deranged Sponge, Spongebob, and with the mixture of Rin, Stimpy, and Spongebob. Same with the story. No, 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 listen. This animation, this anime show doesn't use gross out. So, yeah. With, with the exception of a few jokes. But trust me, what they get away with is really shocking. And how it wasn't banned is, is beyond me. For example, the establishment they eat is called Chucky Chickens. You think I would be joking? And, and yes, this guy in a TV Y7 rating. So every seven-year-old gets a witness this. I can't show clips, so just, just think of, you know what I mean. With the story, it's technically about a little, um, you know what, just, just name some random animals. With, with his friend Cow and his pet dog, going on weird adventures in a suburban area. Now, now this sounds like Uncle Grandpa, but 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 switch it out to different characters. But here's the thing: this show is actually in enjoyable. The story can lead to endless possibilities, and you know what? They they did their best. And and oh yeah, let's not forget the intro. It's so so catchy. I'll actually put all my save offline videos, but eh, let's continue. As for the animation, I mentioned how it's more deranged than the guy's other cartoons. That being Camp Laszlo and Spongebob. But it's so good looking. It's fun to look at the city and figure out the references they're making. Oh yeah, by the way, this cartoon has lots of references. And, and trust me, you all know the references they'll, they'll make. In fact, every cartoon has to make one pop culture reference. It, it's law. It's law in animation that you have to make a pop culture reference. Hey, 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 the other law, don't mention one course meal. Don't mention one course meal to anybody ever. It got in so successful, it got in its own tie-in game, Spunky's, Spunky's Cleaning Day. I, I don't remember the game. But it was received poorly. It was made by LJN, so what do you expect? So, so that was Rocky's Modern Life. What do I think? It's a really good show. It's really funny. It's hilarious. Uh, I, I, I know I said it's funny twice, but yeah, it is. And the thing about it is really enjoyable. The characters, the story, and the animation are, are, all are really fine looking. So, does it go to the Hall of Shame the, or the Hall all of Fame? The Hall of Fame, obviously. There's, there'll also be a middle ground called Hall of Meh. 
So, so, so be, be worried about that one. So, that's, so that's it, possibly. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and Anime TV Reviews is out. Peace.